Okay. Uh, you've seen this reaction. This is just throwing a chunk of potassium metal in water. Okay. Is have you seen this reaction? Yeah, you've seen this reaction, right? Yeah. Potassium and lithium, the alkali metals being thrown in water. Yeah. You've all seen this reaction, these reactions, I should say. Uh, you drop potassium in water. What happens? It, it go boom. All right. Okay. The reason it go boom is because of the hydrogen gas. And is this reaction endo or exothermic? It's exothermic. There's a release of energy, right? So it's an exothermic reaction. Okay, so that's easy to see. If it's exothermic, delta H is negative, right? Exothermic, delta H is negative. So we know delta H is favoring the products, all right? So then we look at delta S, the randomness. I'll just do it over here. Do you think delta S is positive or negative? In other, do you think delta S favor? Do you think the randomness favors the products or the reactants? Why? So we're going from a solid and a liquid to aqueous and a gas. Remember the order? It's gas, aqueous, liquid, solid. So these are the two least random to the two most random. So delta S is going to be positive. That's all the calculations we're really going to do in this class. If you go on in chemistry, you can actually calculate numbers around delta S, but we don't do that. We just look at it and go, yeah, it favors this side or it favors that side. So delta S is positive, which means products are more random and favored. So that's why this reaction goes so fast. You don't even have to do anything. You just drop it in the water. Enthalpy is pushing it in this direction, and entropy is pushing it in that direction. So we would say basically that this would go to completion. Okay? All right? The reverse process, if I took hydrogen gas and potassium hydroxide and tried to mix those together, you're now going against all that stuff. All right? So this is the, if I'm pushing this way, I'm going where you would have energy over here. So you're trying to push it this way, but the reaction is like, no, no. I want it to stay over here. So this reaction is never going to happen, basically. Okay, this is basically zero percent chance because both entropy and enthalpy are saying, no, we're staying here. And if you think about the products when you do that, it's pretty, well, it's basically impossible to reverse that reaction. All right? Okay. Um, all right, so predicting entropy changes. So let's look at this. We have calcium carbonate, carbide, sorry, CaC2S, solid, two water molecules in liquid form, produces ethylene and calcium hydroxide. Which side does entropy favor? It favors the products, right? Because I'm going from a solid and a liquid to gas and aqueous. So entropy favors the products. In other words, delta S is positive. Can I print the page? All right, what if there's gases on both sides? So we got carbon dioxide and two water molecules in gas phase. Going to methane gas and oxygen gas. Which side does entropy favor? It favors more molecules. That's exactly it. 
It favors the reactants because there's three molecules here, three gas molecules, one, two, three, going to two. Three is more random than two. You want more gas molecules. So the reactants are favored because molecules or moles, whatever you want to call them, doesn't matter. What if everything's a solid? Like in the next reaction. Sorry? Uh, it does, but just looking at the reaction, we're talking about randomness. What's more random, two things or one thing? Two, so you're gonna go to the side for more molecules. So, favors the products because more molecules. Okay, so let's figure out if this is gonna be an equilibrium or left side or right side. So is this an endo or exothermic reaction? exothermic because we got energy on the product side, right? So that means delta H is negative, which is exo. Exothermic favors what? Favors products. Okay. What side does delta S or this entropy favor? Favorite's the left side. We're going, this is gas, this is gas, this is gas. This is three molecules, one molecule. So entropy is going to be pushing back. So delta S is negative. Therefore, favors reactants. These are opposing forces. Therefore, we are in equilibrium. We're somewhere in the middle. Now, it's not going to be exactly in the middle because every system has a, um, what am I trying to say? A ratio, an equilibrium constant. That's what we'll learn about next week. Um, so it might be a little more to there. It depends if entropy is stronger than the enthalpy or if enthalpy wins out over entropy, whichever is stronger. Okay. And all reactions are different for that. Okay, so entropy, you want to go towards more randomness. The reaction will always go in that direction or it'll be pushed in that direction by entropy. Enthalpy always wants to go in the more stable direction, which is the exothermic direction, whether the exothermic is the reverse process or the forward process. Okay? Answer those questions, please. We're doing a lab tomorrow.